Hey everyone, welcome back to AFTV. Me and Robbie are here to preview the Man City tie. But it's not the Premier League, it is the FA Cup. FA Cup it is man. a massive fourth round game. And there's so many aspects to this, Robbie. There's the psychological aspect, there's you know the fitness of the players. And we're going to explore that by building the 11s that we want to see. But how are you feeling going into it? Do you know what? It's, it's, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Um, when it got drawn out of the hat, which was before... I'm still angry about this, right? Because I don't understand why they do this. Draw... <clears throat> do the draw before you've even played your final game. But remember, we knew before we were going to play Oxford mm -hmm. that we are going to play Man City away. It's the worst possible draw we could have got out of the, all the teams remaining, as far as I was concerned. You know, to draw them away at the Etihad. Can so, I challenge that, right? Because if you're going to win the FA Cup, you've got to beat some really good teams. You've probably got to beat a City yeah, to a little beat them later on, not now. No, but, OK. But at least if we win this... It's out of the way and there's a real run of the club. If we're out, we're out. We focus on the league, no? Yeah, but you don't want to be out, do you? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the FA Cup is our cup. We've won it more times than any other team in the history of English football, right? We've got a proud history in this. So I've got mixed emotions on it because, number one, I want to win. I want to win every game. I want to win the FA Cup. I'd like to be going to Wembley, you know, come, you know, June or the end of May. But we've got to get past Man City, and that's going to be really, really difficult. And then there's the thing of, psychologically, we've got them in two huge league games. Yeah. So what sort of team do we play? You know, do we want to play too much of our hand mm -hmm. before that game when we play them on the 15th of February at the Emirates? Mm -hmm. You've got to take that into account, because I'd think if we didn't have all that looming, I'd be like, go with the strongest team. Mm -hmm. Because we don't have a game until next week, Saturday, when we play Everton. That's a so there's a thing. whole week's gap. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's a case of players needing rest and stuff like that. I really, and, and in particular, when you see the form that we've been on, the fact that we've just beaten United, we've beaten Tottenham away, you know, nor, under normal circumstances, I'd be like, yeah, first team in that game, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you change Matt Turner out in the goal, but first team in that game. But because we've got them, I'm like, I don't want to show them too much of our hand. Mm -hmm. Which I know people will say, well, yeah, they already know what mm -hmm. our team is. But you understand what I'm saying there? Yeah, Going yeah. there, do you want to play Saka? Do you want to play Odegaard? Do you, want them, do you want them to sort of see so they can work out how to deal with us when they actually do okay. play us? So let me flip that. We go there with our strongest team. We win. What a massive psychological boost that could be. And I'll flip it us. back. We go there with our strongest team and we lose. And if you're Mikel and Arteta... And psychologically, yeah. what does that do? Well, this maybe, is the dilemma. dilemma. Maybe Arteta's on the coach or, or, or in the dressing room after. Say we lose the game, but he's gone full strength. And he says, that's the level. That's what we you know, are coming up against. Be ready for it. And maybe Pep Guardiola's in his change room and he's saying, well, look... That's how we beat them. They, you know, they were running up their mouths. They were saying they're this great team. Yeah. Look, we just took them apart. We're going to do the same thing when we go down to the Emirates. That's the thing. That's yeah. why me right. personally, I wouldn't go with our strongest. I'll go with a strong team, but not our strongest because I'm like, I want to keep back things in reserve. Just got them thinking. You know, Pep likes to overthink things sometimes. It so, does, yeah, yeah. You know, well, I get he, the feeling, yeah. if, if anything, I get the feeling they might go pretty strong. Yeah, I think because I, I feel that it'd be more damaging for them to lose the game at home mm -hmm. than it would be for us to lose it. Because I don't think many people expect us to go to the Etihad in the FA Cup and win the game. Mm -hmm. But whichever way we look at it, it is going to be some sort of marker as to where we are at. It's going to be very, um, very interesting. We're going to yeah. build our teams in a second and see what we both go with. Mm. Uh, but this isn't, you know, we're no strange to meeting Man City in the FA Cup, although, as you mentioned, it tends to come later in tournaments. We beat them in the semi-final in 2020. Of course, that was behind went closed on. doors. Yeah, a massive win, win for Arteta, knocking Guardiola. Mm. Yep, went on to win it. And then Guardiola has also lost to Arsenal about three years before, two, yep. three years before, um, when Arsene Wenger was still around. It was his last trophy as an Arsenal manager. But mm -hmm. again, what a massive, massive win that was. Arsenal hadn't had a, big, a good season at all. Finished fifth outside the Champions League, but they won the FA Cup. So you're right, it's a, it's a, it's a trophy that... You know, let's be honest, the last 10, 15 years, Arsenal haven't been where they wanted to be, but we've won four FA it's Cups the cup and they've been always, historic big yeah, moments. That cup, the FA Cup, is what's kept fuel in the tank mm. for Arsenal. 
you know, because we've been able to, you know, say at least we've been winning that over the over the like you said last ten years. Mm -hmm. So I, I hold it dear to my heart. It's important. I, I, do too, yeah. I grew up watching the FA Cup when that was the biggest game in English football. I love the FA Cup, um, but then we got the prize of the league this year as well. <sighs> that league title is a, it would be a huge, huge um, thing to win. But I want to do well in the FA Cup as well. So I don't want to just go there and roll over. I mean, I remember the game when they played Chelsea in the last round where they absolutely, I mean, that 4-0 win at the Etihad. I mean, I don't want us going up there and getting anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, because that could be damaging as well, even with a st second string team. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be a mixture of strength. And do you know what? We've got a bit of better strength in depth now anyway. So, yeah, you let's know. explore that. Let's yeah. explore that. Before we do, it is a Friday night kickoff at the Etihad. Many thanks to whoever organised that. But, Eight o'clock. Uh, at least we'll have some fun. Friday night yeah, yeah. You're supposed to go out there by train, by the way, uh, members of the FA. How do you get home? How are you getting home? Mm. Members of the FA, how are you getting home if you're coming back to London after that game? Yeah. No doubt you've got a cosy little hotel where you stay and stuff like that till the next day but what do the other fans do who maybe don't have that budget think exactly Sack let's build our teams think. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it let's build our teams right now we're going to build our 11s on the tactical pad and I, I, I like this I enjoy this we've got Jakub Kivior in there and I mean you know what's coming it's just taken me ages to get there Leandro Trossard added yeah. to the squad we can have some fun this we've got some more strength depth. in depth OK, we're obviously going to start with the goalkeeping position. We're going to take it all the way from over here, Robbie. Um, you've got Aaron Ramsdale, the number one. You've got Hine in there, but of course you've got Matt Turner as well. Who are you going for? I'm going for Matt Turner. Um, I think he has not let us down. Mm -hmm. um, watched him at the World Cup and was very, very impressed with him. And I think he's a good goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm more than comfortable. Give Aaron Ramsdale a little rest. He's had a lot, a lot of work to do recently, yeah. um, and I don't think Matt Turner will let us down. He's got a broken finger. Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah, I saw that it, where it, he said he, he's had to be... With Cal Freezy. Yeah, yeah, so even with that, that's even more a reason to give him a little rest. So, yeah. Turner in goal. Turner's in goal. OK, agree with that. Right back. Now, of course, Ben White, where is he there? Came off at half-time um, in the Man United game. Did look at his best, but no fresh injuries, according to Arteta. So, unless he was ill, that was clearly a tactical thing. But then Tommy Asu came in, did very well mm. against Rashford in that second half. Who are we going for? Tommy Asu for me, um, you know, he was excellent, I thought, marking Rashford and everybody in, in, in that second half of the game. And, um, yeah, listen, again, he's not going to let us down. That's strength in depth, that is, because, you know, even when Ben White came off the other day, I was like, Tommy Asu's coming in. It's like, yeah. There's no drop in levels. I know what you mean. Won't Different worry. type of right backs, but not a drop in level. Mm -hmm. Tommy Asu's in. Cool. Now, I guess a little bit more interesting. So, on to the <laughs> centre-backs. Now, Saliba and Gabriel have been ever-present in the Premier League. In fact, I don't think they've missed a single minute of Premier League football. <sighs> what do we do? You've got Holding, then you've even got Jakob Kivior. Very exciting signing. 22 years old, Poland international. Go check out the In Focus video that I just did with yep. Janney. Fantastic insight from him there. Um, what do we do now? What are, you looking for? what are you looking for? I think Rob Holding has to play. He's played in all these FA Cup games. Um... Yeah, listen, it, it could be... We've got to play these guys. You know, he's a very experienced player. There's many a times he's, he's, he's not let us down either. You know what I mean? Um, and also we've got to look at it and say some of these players are going to play a lot of football between now and the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Rob Holding will be one, I feel. If there's any injuries to any of our centre-backs, he'll be in. In a lot of Europa League games, he'll be in. Yeah, Rob Holding. OK, and who are you going for as his partner? Ooh. I oh, know. Are you tempted? Are you tempted to give Kivio uh, some uh, minutes? I'm tempted to... Do you want to throw Kivio in, in your first game at Man City, could face Haaland? He could face Haaland or Alvarez. He probably will, yeah. In your first game Welcome. in English football. Welcome. But then yeah. you need to... The reason why he's been bought is to give players like Gabriel a little rest. Oh, I think I need a bit of experience in there, you know. I'll go Gabriel. I'd love to throw Kivior in, but 
I think Gabriel will get Kivior on later on. It's his first game. Is this game. your team or your predicted team? I should stress. Is this, this is what, my team. This is what this you is would my do. Team. This is not my predicted team. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Okay, then we're on well, to the well, Did you agree with that or would you throw Kivior? <sighs> do you know what? I agree with Gabriel. I'd play Saliba. Instead of Rob Holding? I would. I really, really would. No. Give, him, give him 90 minutes against Haaland or against Man City. Yeah. No, I don't want the jeopardy of that yet. Fair Again, enough. what if he has a bad game? Then they're going to think, right, that's how we can get it. No, keep that back. Holding and Gabriel. I'd okay. Go. Well, I'll just leave Saliba slotted in there as mine. But let us know in the comments who you would go right. for. Um, okay. Well, Gabriel, back. you go Gabriel, yeah? Yes, yeah, stick with right. Gabriel, yeah. Left back Tierney. I'm going for Tierney. Yeah, because Zinchenko not only do, again, not only. Listen, he's played at the Etihad many mm -hmm. times, but it's not just that. It's uh, we know he's had a few little injury issues. Don't want to risk him. Got very important games coming up. Kieran Tierney didn't play the last game. Mm -hmm. Be nice and fresh. Um, yeah, happy with that. And that's a that's a solid back four. On Forever Arsenal, I did go for Zinchenko, but I've changed my mind because I think there'll be a lot more defending to do, in which case, yeah. you know, Tierney's as good an option, if not better than Zinchenko. And I also think with Zinchenko's injury problems this season, yeah. Don't want to not risk worth him. it as much. Don't so, want to risk him. Important yeah. games coming up. I'm, I'm with you there. I've yeah. changed my mind since forever. OK, now let's talk about the midfield. Yeah, Obviously, Thomas it Partey. It's really interesting right yeah. now because I don't want to play Thomas Partey. And we know that Elneny's out. And Elneny's out. Um... The, the, this is this is a it's got to be Lokonga, isn't it? And this this has got to be now where he puts in a big performance. Um, you know, he's a touch smaller. So yeah, Sambi Sambi's got Sambi's got to put a, a, a big performance in. Um, for me, it's a massive opportunity for him. You know what I mean, the Amazon documentary when he was talking to Eddie and Ketia. Eddie Nketi has earned his place, he's mm -hmm. seized his opportunity and he's, this is your chance, Sambi. Because look on it like this right now, right? We're, we're chasing, looking at centre, looking at um, defensive midfielders. Yeah. He could put in an excellent performance in this game and Mikel Arteta and Edu say, you know what? We don't need to go out and spend mm -hmm. that amount of money. We've got Sambi Lokonga. Mm -hmm. So this is his chance to step up. Fair it's enough. a little bit worrying because he's got to be on it in that game. You're up against Man City. Mm -hmm. You're going to be coming up against a top quality midfield, even if they rest players. There could be still a Gundawan in there. Mm -hmm. There's still going to be, you know, um, yeah. Calvin Phillips maybe or a Rodri. You know what I mean? He's got to be on it. Mm -hmm. But let's see. You're going with Lukonga. Yep. I am going for Partey. I know you're going to think I'm crazy. No, no, no. no. I would. I'd give him the minutes. Nope. I would get Can't risk him, man. Man City Can't risk him. Big it. game's coming up. Wouldn't risk him. Fair enough. Well, again, we'll leave that to the comments. Let yep. us know your thoughts. OK, then either side of him. You've got the likes of Xhaka, you've got Odegaard, you've got Vieira, you've got Smith-Rowe. Right. Who completes the midfield three for you? I, um, Xhaka starts in this game because, you know, his experience, um, I think, is needed in a game like this when there's so many changes have been made. Mm -hmm. And uh, Fabio Vieira comes in for me instead of Odegaard. OK. Fair enough. Do I... Uh, I'm tempted by Odegaard. Again, I just no, think this is good experience. I just don't want to show too much of my hand. And I think Fabio Vieira was excellent in the last round. I know he's Oxford, but remember he had a couple of assists, looked really, really good. Um, yeah. Nah, I'm going for it. Forget it. I want, I want to win this tie. I really do. I'll nah, go for Odegaard. No. Nope. And also, you've got to remember, like you said, these they won't then kick a ball for... It could be two weeks between the Man United game and the Everton game. I get rest is good, but, you know, they want to get the minutes in the legs. They want to keep playing, keep that rhythm. Oh, Fabio Vieira is in for me. OK. And then the front three. I mean, plenty of options front now. Three. You've got uh, Smith Rowe, you've got Saka, Trossard, and Nketiah. You've yeah. got Martinelli as well. So I think Nketiah, for me, is striker. You're going with Nketiah? Yeah. He doesn't need a rest, does uh, he? He's so, he's so on it at the moment. Um, and we haven't really got no one else to rest him for at the moment, let's be real. So yeah. he starts because he's on fire. We mm -hmm. need goals in the game. He's poaching them. Trossard starts on the left for me. I'm very excited to see him. Yeah, so Trossard starting on the left. And then mm -hmm. the big thing is who starts on the right? 
Saka, Smith Rowe, Martinelli. On the right. He's played on the right, Martinelli. But Smith Rowe, I agree with Ben. We've not really seen that. I guess for England under 21s, maybe. But I'm going to jump. Martinelli's my pick. Only reason is he's not been at his best uh, since I've, the World Cup. I've never, I've never, I've never really liked him on the right. No. I don't like. I don't like him. If anything, I'll play Smith Rowe then. Um, you going Smith Rowe? Smith Rowe on the right. That's what you go for. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. And there's a lot of changes in that team. There is a lot. Um, but we lose. We, you know, we we talk about strength in depth. We talk about players that have been out. Um, this is their chance. So you know? here's the positions we disagree on: centre back, withholding a Saliba. Partey and Lukonga, Erdegaard, Vieira, and then what we do on the right. Some people might even be tempted just to go for Saka as well. Somebody might put Saka. I mean, Marquinhos mm -hmm. is there as well, but I think, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's no. Man City. That's what I'm saying. This is why, for me, it was a horrible tie because, yeah. you know, if it was any other team, but... We, yeah, yeah. If it's any other team, you don't want it's to definitely go there. Congress, definitely Vieira, yeah. and then you probably play Smith Rowe and Trossard, and you're probably all right. I mean, you know, even Gabriel Kivial would be starting. You know, I agree, yeah. but unfortunately, it is Man City, and it's Man City. Arteta, you know, he wants to go final competitions, he wants to win things. It would be interesting. That let me just end by asking what you think he'll do, because this is. You know, we've disagreed. Yeah. The, the players on the left are the ones you want. The players on the right are the ones I want in this team. What would you do? What do I think so, he'll sorry, do? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What do I, what what do I think, think he'll, he'll do? do? I think he'll have the same... Um, that I think that will be the back four. I think Turner will be a goal. I think it will be holding, not mm -hmm. Saliba and Gabriel. I think that's what he will go for. Mm -hmm. I think in midfield he'll play Lukonga. I don't think he'll play Partey. Mm -hmm. I think he'll play Xhaka. He may play Odegaard. Mm -hmm. um, he, he may play Odegaard in there. I could see him possibly putting Vieira out on this uh, right-hand side. Mm -hmm. Um, which he's done before. I think he'll definitely play Trossard and then Ketia down the middle. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be similar, but I think where he's going to, the big decision is he's going to have to make, I think, is going to be here. Mm -hmm. But I do think Lokonga will get the shout. And it's going to be does Vieira come into central or does Vieira come out wide? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's fascinating. You know what? You could also, this is another thing you could do, right? You could also play. Trossard there in, in the, uh, mm -hmm. as a striker, put Smith Rowe out on that's that left really, hand that's side. That's a really good point. Yeah, and yeah. and maybe play Fabio Vieira in in here yeah. with all the guards starting there. Yeah, that's very true. Do you think you could yeah. even play White at centre back if you wanted? Yeah, you know, obviously he's played there, but unless he sees there's an opportunity for rest. Yeah, you guys can let us know what you would do in your team, what you go for by going to the AFTV Plus app. You can download that on iOS, go to the Google Play Store and build your 11s and let us know what you'd go for. Tag us on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever it might be. Post it on your stories. Let us know. We'll react to them and give our thoughts and uh, maybe explore some of that in the starting 11 before that is announced at around 7 p.m. on Friday night. So there you go. That's been our preview of you the... Didn't, you didn't get my prediction, though. <laughs> and I didn't want to give it in this Yeah, one. I know. I know. Go on. I've got, said, I got back go my on. team, man. I've got 2-1 Arsenal. I've got 2-1 Arsenal. You know I mean, listen, we've I've been, got 2-1 Arsenal. We've been on fire. Listen, it's, yeah. it's, 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 the, it's as tough as it gets mm -hmm. in the FA Cup, but you named it at the start. Decent record in the FA Cup, um, mm -hmm. you know, against City. So... Who knows? Yeah, I'm going 2-1 Arsenal as well. Why not? Let's back them. They're doing so well. City might rotate. Who knows? I think he'll go quite strong for what it's worth. I think we'll see I think we'll see closer to our Premier League starting eleven than people are expecting. So Probably we'll, right. we'll find out on a Friday night. If you've enjoyed this, do hit the like button. As I said, go download the app. Let us know your thoughts on what the starting eleven would be, but also what you'd go for. Let us know in the comments as well. Check out all the content in the run-up box to box that's out already and everything else that's leading up to that Man City game. And of course, we'll be covering it all on Friday night here on AFTV. We're going to be at the game. Really looking forward to it as well. Cecil there as well. So all the fan cams will be coming out after full time. Hopefully, we've booked our place in the fifth round. And who knows, could even be a replay. We might be doing this all over again Ooh, no, for a trip to, to the replay, Emirates. Man. But Jeez. we forget that that's, that's a thing the in the FA thing. Cup. That's you know? the last thing we need right It's now. not necessarily done and dusted Friday <laughs> night. That's the other thing. Again, let us know in the comments your thoughts. We'll catch you on the next one. Many, many thanks. Thank you.
Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.